G'day guys, this video will summarize the equation of motion for a spring mass damper system with an external force acting on it, F of t. In the case where the external force varies sinusoidally, F of t can be written as F0 sine omega t, where F0 is called the amplitude of excitation in newtons, and omega is equal to the excitation frequency in radians per second. By using f equals ma, the equation of motion becomes mx double dot plus cx dot plus kx is equal to f0 sine omega t. The solution to this is called the total response, and it's given by the expression x equals ae to the minus zeta omega nt times sine omega dt plus phi 1, all added to capital X sine omega t minus phi. The capital X in this is given by this expression, and phi is given by this expression. In this equation, omega n is the natural angular frequency in radians per second, omega d is the damped natural frequency in radians per second as well, zeta is your damping ratio, which is dimensionless, capital X is your steady state amplitude in meters, phi is your steady state phase in radians, and a and phi 1 are just constants to be determined from the initial conditions. You'll notice that the total response can be broken into two main parts. The first part is what we call the transient response, and the second part is what's called the steady state response. You'll notice the transient response looks identical to the equation of motion for a spring mass damper system without an external force acting on the block, and you can tell that its amplitude will die away over time. The steady state response behaves differently though. The steady state amplitude, x, isn't a function of time, so its amplitude remains constant. This means that the final equation of motion, which is the sum of transient and steady state, will look something like this. You can see the total response will undergo sporadic behavior early on when the system is still largely influenced by the transient response. But this will eventually converge to the steady state response after some time. Let's talk quickly about the steady state amplitude in some detail. By playing around with the steady state amplitude formula, we can plot kx on f0, something we call the non-dimensionalized amplitude, versus omega on omega n, the frequency ratio. The plot looks like this when z equals 0.1, and like this when z equals 0.2. Here are a few other values. Notice that for low values of damping, the non-dimensionalized amplitude skyrockets when the frequency ratio is exactly equal to 1. This is something called resonance, and it's typically something engineers want to avoid. Lastly, just to give you a little bit more information, the steady state phase can be plotted against omega on omega n as well, just to get this result.